questions and, and answer them. And um, in, in a while, we'll do a, a little oh, slideshow okay. of a photo shoot. Okay. Okay. And um, there's lots of things to look at. But um, I mean, we have to answer any questions you have about the process or any of it. And first of all, I'm going to start out by saying that nobody does this anymore. This is obsolete. What, what is this exactly? Romance novel covers painted. Okay, painted. Yeah, they're all digital. Okay, thank you. I still work in the industry. Um, I provide costumes for photo shoots, and I do styling for, for the photo shoots. But um, it's all digital now. It's a photo shoot, just like the one I'm going to show you. And then what they do is they take the, the, the photos and they digitize it. They, 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 they do uh, Photoshop and they add the backgrounds in Photoshop. And it's, it's completely different from the way that I used to do it. <laughs> but I'll tell you how the history of how it was done. Okay. I mean, I don't do it anymore because, it is, because I didn't move into the computer world. Um, I'm a little too old for that. <laughs> At least me. I like paint. <laughs> um, um, I don't know what else to say about that. What, what did you, what did you stop? Um, I'm going to say it was early 2000. Oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, no, everyone went to digital right away. And, and, and that's when I stopped doing it, but I, I'm still, I'm still working in the industry. Yeah. Did you paint all of them? Everyone, yes. And when did you start this career? I was uh, 30 years old. It was about in uh, 1980 when I did my first cover. Wow. Which one was your first one? It's not <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> but then I have done hundreds of them. There are other artists who did more, but I was more of an academic painter, and I chose to use the old-fashioned method of oil and linen. Mm -hmm. And um, they're going to last forever because I did that. <laughs> they haven't changed a lick since I painted them. So you read the whole book before you design the cover? I used to be presented with a manuscript, and it was the loose leaf manuscript, they, they called it the galleys. Mm -hmm. And it was my job to sift through it and find a romantic uh, visual, you know. And also costuming was important because the people who read the books want to relate to the cover. They want, they really, and they really do relate to the cover. It's incredible the letters that I used to get from the authors, and I mean from readers. Mm -hmm. And uh, at, at one point when the romance novel was the thing that kept publishing companies in black mm -hmm. because they were constant and, and a, a big source of income. I think they still are but to a different degree than then. Uh, so they had huge budgets for these covers. And, um, and the less known the, the author at the time, the, the bigger the budget, because uh, you know, when, when you're a big author, your name sells the book. Yes. Uh -huh. But uh, they used to bump them up with, and make them three-dimensional. Um, there might be a few of them around. Um, and I might mean, get letters from women and they say, oh, oh and I can feel his muscles. That was really funny. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. <laughs> I really did. But um, yeah, they had big budgets for book covers. And it, it was a pretty good lucrative living at the time. But I just couldn't make the switch. Well, do they, for you to get a job with a, a particular book, I mean, do you, uh, do you interview for it, or you No, 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 once you get in there, well, I was lucky. Know. I was lucky because I, um, I had some rep, art reps that introduced me to Pino, who is the icon of Romance on the cover of Painters. He's now, he's no longer with us, but he did so many, and I was his assistant for a year. And I worked for nothing. Really. I did. And I did everything. I learned everything.
think his English was not very good at the time. And he would take me to the art directors, to the meetings, and I would translate somehow because I don't speak Italian. But I figured out just the whole, through the whole thing, I, I was able to translate what the art director wanted to him, or vice versa. I would go and I would get the costumes from the costume house, because at that time I wasn't making the costumes. When I was young, you know, I was right at, fresh out of college. But, uh, So I got my whole education working as an apprentice, really. And I, that's my recommendation for any artist, or anybody who wants to get into anything, is to work with an artist, a working artist. Because you just learn everything. And, and I, I learned all about historical costume and it's a wealth of knowledge. And did, did you use live models? Yes, yes. And with that, maybe we can segue into a photo shoot. Okay, and that is our our iconic male figure, Fabio. <laughs> wow, I can feel the muscles. <laughs> down, chain, down. Okay, so this is this is how a photo shoot goes. Just yeah, you take a couple hundred pictures and, and one of them gets chosen. Or maybe you take parts from others and you know, you make it work. And that painting is hanging in the hall on the stairwell. It's actually flopped. It should be the other direction. <laughs> It's the one with the howling wolf <laughs> at the moon. The wolf howling at the moon. And how long does it take? Is this like just a matter of a few minutes? That all it's an hour. Right? It's an hour from start to finish. Uh, and, um, you know, you got to get them dressed real quick and get them on set. And then they just move around. And, <laughs> and you direct them. <laughs> 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 He's not. And you know what? They never did. They never did. It was always the girl that did all the work. Because everybody was carrying. So that, now when you were painting these, they would take a photograph of this, and you would paint from the photograph, or you paint Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. I would make a photograph. Right. Or yeah. this is a viewer here. You don't want really to photograph when you have a viewer, uh -huh. but um, yeah, either a photograph or a viewer. So this is, you know, it's, today you would be able to do a video of this instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Now during the photo shoot, are you talking to her? Oh yeah. So oh yeah. So like, what would you be saying? You know, I don't remember anything let me tell you, but I use so many models that there's no way I can tell you. That's Fabio. He was good. He was certainly a, a hunk of a man. And was there a fan below? Yeah, we had a fan. I had to come as close as I could to what they were wearing and 
The guys never wear much. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
wakes up and says, wow, these aren't being done anymore. Right, sure. No, oh, no. yes, I would, I, I would think, but that's not the case yet. Not yet. Wow. Not yet. I've been trying, believe me. There's a lot of them out there, too. Sharon, yesterday when we were walking, we were telling you a story about the woman who commissioned one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You should, yeah. You've done other things besides you. You should tell me about that. And the other thing you've told me in the past is how you got started, not the thing yeah. of being an apprentice, yeah. but yeah. how you actually fell into the things. Do you remember? Oh, uh, into doing romance? Yeah, yeah. yeah. when you came out of college. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because I knew uh, art reps. Yeah. And, um, and like I said, they introduced me to Pino. Yeah, yeah. Who's the I icon of the industry as a painter? Tell tell them about the commission. Oh no, I had, <laughs> I used to go to conventions because there used to be these romance conventions, and they're huge. I mean, the authors would be there, and the people would come to get the, the autographs, and, and it was a huge industry, and uh, thousands of women would come for these things. <laughs> And, and I would give um, a demonstration at these um, in, in, in return for actually being able to go there for free. And my room was paid for, my meals were paid for. But I would give a class like this. And maybe sometimes I would even have two models and we would actually do a correlation. And um, I had a woman that came to me, I feel very shy, you know, she came up to me and she said, what if somebody wanted to have themselves in a romance? <laughs> and, you know, with a model, you know, and, and, and I said, that's easy. You just book the studio and the model, and, you know, you go. So I did several pictures of just regular women with models. I know that. The whole thing, the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, digital. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a business you might consider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it could be fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, because <laughs> lots of models fell in love. I was ever sure once that they were so hot and happy that the photographer shut the lights off and we all went the other room. That's a story. Oh yeah, lots of models hooked up that way. <laughs> so did you see that? Uh huh. That I assume came from another photograph or something that you saw. Yes, I would go through books, photo books, you know, of England. Uh -huh. It depended on what country, right. and you'd find the cast. Now, yeah, there's a lot that were fictional places, were you not? Not yeah. really. You know, most of these books are based around reality. Yeah. You know, they're just a romance based in around the, you know, a real place, yeah. a real event in history, uh, a war, uh, or, you know, who knows what. Interesting. Yeah. Now, the, now this seems pretty yeah. elaborate here. Yes. Was that whole set part of the photograph, or did you superimpose? Uh, that's very that interesting that you chose that. I, um, um, I was at, mm -hmm. actually at a real house. Uh -huh. and, and yes, it was photographed in that setting. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that was a cover. That was a cover. Wow. The book is under that. Yeah. Was yeah. Not, the, yeah. 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 That was not so much a romance as a, they were sisters. And it was a book about sisters and their romances. And oh, their sisters. What was the good sister? In Yonkers. Victorian home in Yonkers. It was a friend of mine who owned it. Where, where was it? Yonkers? It was in Yonkers. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some beautiful Victorians. Yes. 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 <laughs> did you, Sherry, did you? What did you study in college? I was with Oh, well, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, yeah. So. 
So I've been an artist since I was five. But did you think you'd be doing what, what, what you know, Who would ever know? You know? Who could ever know? I knew I was going to be an artist or something. And I never knew I was going to be an artist. Do you do something else for home? Satisfaction? Or other than... <laughs> I'm working towards that. <laughs> I do pet portraits. And I do people portraits as well. Oh. Two of her pet portraits out. Yes. I see one. I pointed it out. And I do have some leaflets you can take if anybody's interested. <laughs> and, then, and then how did you get into making the costumes? My mother was a seamstress. I've been sewing since I was a tiny little girl. Oh, and on. It was just a, a, a natural thing for me. I went to FIT. Oh, is that where you went to work? Yeah, I went to FIT and, um, I, you know, my, it's in my blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, I used to make my troll clothes. Yeah. I remember them. Troll clothes. I remember trolls. And then you have to all the costumes. I have them all. I still rent them. Oh, good. Oh, that's great. I'm going to get rid of them all, though. In the next two years, I'm going to have an auction. Not so all of them. All the <laughs> yeah. make all the costumes. A lot of them. Yeah. A lot of them. Yeah. But I rented a lot, too. Mm -hmm. I can't make more. I mean, I, I really started making more costumes later. Because I didn't have time to do everything. And, and did you work for a whole variety of publishers? or Every publisher in the city. Work for they all did romance. They did. Huh? Yeah. 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 And once you get once you get in there, you're in. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. It's like Sharon, these two costumes up front are yours. That yeah. you you sew those. Yeah. yeah. And this. <laughs> two months. <laughs> so was there somebody else that you would compete with for the cover or? No. No. We got a cover. Okay. <laughs> what happened to Pino? He's no longer with us. Yes, but he wasn't your competition? No. I really can't say that I... You knocked them off. No, they, you know, there were a handful of us. Yeah. Uh, yeah there yeah. weren't a lot. And there was enough work. And there was enough work, okay. and we all got our fair share. Uh, 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 are these novels still being written? Oh yeah. Oh, big, yeah. Big, big time. Look at any yeah. drugstore or any. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. They're full of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, it's a seller. Women love promotions. And they read it. <laughs> 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 All the covers, a lot of the covers were painted. They were. There was a lot. There were a lot of photo covers, but but I mean, if you're talking about paint by genre, a lot of them were painted. They were painted. Yeah. Like people like Sidney Sheldon. I know that. Yeah, his name sold that. Right. And then they do a photo of the Yeah. And that's what Daniel Steele does. Well, Daniel Steele, Pino did many Daniel. Oh, she was a little before me. Uh, was she really? Yeah. How old was Pino old when you were born? I don't know how old he was. I don't know. I'm just wondering. Maybe 10 years older than me. Maybe 10 years older than me. Martha Mitchell's Gone with the Wind, when that came out in paperback. That was a romance. I know. Did he do that cover? No. No. No, because he came over from Italy. He's 24. And he was an illustrator in Italy. Uh, but 40. he was so good that they just what? kept giving him. It's 43, but it's and he was fast. Yeah. He could do yeah, four of these in a month, but he didn't yeah. paint like I painted. Friends is the he one. painted on an illustration board, and it was more like watercolor. Whatever that means. Yeah. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. And what about all the illustrations yeah. here? Are they illustrations That's in the book? The, 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 the ones in the book here? Yeah. yeah. In that yeah. portfolio. Yeah. Those are all my covers. 
everyone I ever did. No, it's oh, cool. you start the, with that first. The sketch no, 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 that's just a record. Moves, the, a record. Box that goes right I think head. she's talking about face these. Oh, yeah. those, yeah, those are sketches. Sketches. Start out with sketch. Yeah. 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 Send back to the art director. Then they, they tell you if they like it or not, and they'll make oh, changes. Oh, so that's the answer.